you will be shocked as Bukola Saraki exposes reason why Buhari fought for him to be removed as the Senate president. The four reasons why I parted away with Buhari, shocking revelation that is making a lot you know, of reactions and Nigerians are wondering, really, this happened? You know, all of them, to a large extent, my dear, PDP, APC, they are mirror image of one another. Don't think any of them is better. Let me just tell you. PDP had that many years. What did they do? Their time was not as worse as this. Yes. Now, APC have had, what, eight years? Is eight years not a long time to make a decisive decision to be able to make something different? But look, at, look how things have been in the country. Things have gone from bad to worse. You cannot begin to imagine the level at which things have been destroyed in this nation, you know, in the life of people, people that die every day, every single day, because somebody, okay, somewhere, yeah, made some things or, you know, made some decision and took some steps. Terrible, very terrible. These are some of the things happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Four reasons why I parted way with Buhari because that Bukola Saraki reveals shocking revelation about President Muhammad Buhari. The former Senate President Bukola Saraki has finally opened up on why he parted ways with President Muhammad Buhari and the ruling of Progressive Congress. You'll be shocked. He made the revelation on Saturday, February the 5th, during a Twitter space discussion hosted by one of organizers of the NSAS project, Runo. Saraki, the Senate President of the 8th of the Eighth National Assembly from 2015 to 2019, answered questions from participants on the 2023 general election and previous political engagement. According to him, he supported the candidacy of President Muhammad Buhari, like most Nigerians did, thinking there was going to be a shift and a change, and this man was coming with something that could potentially change Nigeria and make things better, not knowing it was all a deceit. We hoped, I hoped like every other one, every other person did, that Nigeria was going to change. Apparently, it was a deceive. One, persecution. Saraki says he suffered persecution when he was the Senate president because he stood for the independence of the National Assembly from Buhari. Two, presidential aspirants declared that all the personal persecution, all the personal persecutions he went through was due to the fact that the National Assembly, under his leadership, did not call, did not call, collect favor from the executive. Speaking on his departure from the All Progressive Congress APC back in 2015, Saraki said he left the ruling All Progressive Congress because President Muhammad Buhari's government and style. When I got to know who this man truly is, I could only run away from him. Saraki highlighted the failure of Buhari's regime under the APC to bring about the needed change he promised Nigeria and when he would be leaving office promise of change. According to him, he thought the party's change verdict was going to help him achieve his aim of for the good of all Nigeria. Change agenda was nothing and was not going to be achievable. They were all liars and there was nothing to come out of it. The former Senate president left when he realized that the change agenda was all a deceive to get Nigerians to vote for them. Hello, my wonderful people. The most stunning, shocking statement of Bukola Saraki is when he said he knew about the personality of Buhari and who he truly is. He did not go too far into explaining who Buhari really is or who he truly is. He didn't go into details in that regard. But he said when he got to know who Buhari really is, that made him run. You know, and you know, he has to be careful what he still says. Don't get him, don't get me wrong. Buhari is still the president. And it can be charged for, you know, uh, deformation of character and what have you, and what have you, and what have you. Anything could be said in that light, in that regard. 
So he, he, he I, I believe this man he's speaking is not speaking with all his mouth. You know, when somebody is speaking and he's just saying what he, the barest name minimum, what he needs to say, and that's it. He's not saying more. Okay, and he's leaving you to fill in the blanks. I believe that's what he's saying here. You know, Bukola Saraki may not be the finest of men. He may not have been, you know, that person that you thought, you know, uh, he, you know, he may not be the saint because most of them, I can tell you, PDP, APC is the same person living from PDP to APC. It's just like you. Today, you wore a red dress. That I mean, you love a particular brand of dress and you bought the red, the pink, the blue. So you went to wear the red. And when you got tired of the red, what did you do? You changed to the blue. Have you changed? No. You only changed your clothes. It still remains you. Funny enough, it's the same clothes. Okay, it's just a different color. That is that is APC and PDP. There's no difference. It's the same party, the same people, the same thing. So if you're thinking you are getting something different, hey, excuse me, there, there's no difference. So don't get it twisted. You say, oh, uh, APC should leave, PDP should come. Guys, we are tired of them. They should all go. Like every one of them, like every single one of them should go, like we're really tired. Every single one of them, from APC to PDP, we don't want them. How many of them are speaking for the masses? How many of them have a heart for the people? How many of them want Nigeria to be better? How many of them are doing all it takes for the country to become good and better? How many of them, just a question, how many of them really means well for this nation? Let's be honest. How many of them sincerely, truly, honestly means well for this nation? Let's call a spade a spade and let's stop deceiving ourselves. Okay? How many of them truly means well for this nation? So that's one thing you must realize, we must think about when we are making our decision. Because you, you think, you honestly think that you've gotten people, men and women, who could potentially be doing something different, who could potentially be bringing something fresh to the table. But I put it to you that no, it's all a deceit. The same deceived game is what is going on over and over and over again. You know, it's like what, when they say once beaten, twice shy. By now, we should not allow them, you know, continue to bamboozle us here and there. We should have known them very well for who they are. Their deceitful game is still who they are. It has not changed. It's the same game. The same old game. The same very old game. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.